Hey everybody, this is David. It's been a while since I've last done a video on my Mitsuki 314 channel, so I'm... Oops, I dropped the controller. I was about to say I'm going to go ahead and do one. I'm going to attempt a star run for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Second edition for the PlayStation 1. Okay, my name is David. If you watch my videos, you know my name is David. So, my month, my, my run will start if I get at least $32,000. <clears> Alright, and so on and so forth for my other videos. If, on this game only, if I get anything less than 32000 I will have to do a redemption video. Here's the first question. Alright, the first question for $100. And here it is. <clears throat> Okay, here it comes. Which is now traditional Greek dish? Sukiyaki, Souvlaki, Mosaka, or Finikia? I have no idea how to pronounce any of those, but it's Sukiyaki, final answer. So you're going with a, huh? Don't tell me it's B. That's yes, it. it's A. So I, so I just racked up myself 100 bucks. Alright, you've got yourself the first $100 and you're on your way. Yes, I know, Regis. Now for your $200 question. For $200? Here's the question. Which sport is featured in the 1996 movie Kingpin? Wrestling, golf, chess, or bowling? I'm not stupid. It's D, bowling. Final answer. Mm, D. Yes, it's D. And you are... I'm gonna... I'm sorry, I'm just... I just had to adjust the camera. Two hundred dollar level, big deal. Yeah, yeah, Regis. And here's the three hundred dollar question. All right, the question is, what are the plastic boxes the whole compact disc is called? Frame cases, jewel cases, slip cases, or wafer boxes? I haven't a clue. I think it's jewel cases, but I could be wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and use a lifeline. Use my. Time to call a friend. Who's calling? Let's get a hold of my friend, MacArthur. MacArthur, thank you. Rainy Day Bookstore, this is MacArthur. It's Regis. Oh, God. Uh, Regis, hello. I've got another question He's for you. the guy yeah, that works with the Rainy Day Bookstore. Book book which is, is, I think, fictional. It's fictional. Yeah. He says, Oh, you called the right person on this one. Why, just today I got a shipment in of the new Sounds of the Rainforest anthology box set. Each disc in the set comes with original artwork, liner notes, a commemorative poster, and it's packaged in its own jewel case. Letter B. You're going with B, without a doubt. All right. Oh, it is jewel cases. The pleasure's all mine, Regis. I thought jewel Bye, cases were awesome. special. Okay, see you later, Regis. Boxes. I, that that whole compact disc. 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 What you I thought they were really special and not made of plastic. So I'll go with B. Jewel cases, final answer. I was going to say slip cases, but... Before, but... Yeah, it's jewel cases. And that nets you <coughs> 300. 12 more, you could be looking at a cool million. And now, check Remember, out your 500 Remember, I'm not really plus. knowledgeable of some of that stuff. I'm only 16 years old, alright? For $500, how long is Hanukkah? One day, five days, eight days, or two weeks? I'm not stupid, it's C. Eight days, so final answer. It is C! Alright, if I get this question right, I've definitely got some money. Hey, that's terrific. Five hundred dollars. <clears throat> okay, here it is. Time now for your one thousand dollar question. Here we go. Okay, and the question is, what country is famous for making wooden shoes? It's Russia, Thailand, the Netherlands, or Australia? It's C, the Netherlands, final answer. Answer C is the one you want. That's what I'm sure of. And you're up to And I got it right! Took a little while to get through, but yeah, a thousand dollars. Now I cannot leave with now I cannot leave empty handed. You've got a grand now. Ten more correct answers and you'll be rolling in it. Mm -hmm. And you've okay. reached the safe haven. 
No matter what you do from here on in, you cannot lose that one thousand dollars. Yes, sir. No matter what happens. All right, your I have the one thousand dollars, but I still don't want to screw up, and I still want at least thirty-two thousand. Okay. What biological process replicates DNA? I think it's mitosis, but I am going to select the life one. Audience. Okay, let's see what the I forgot what the said. answer is. Okay, it is mitosis, so it's pretty much a huge waste of the lifeline. <clears throat> I think it's pretty clear what they think. Fifteen seconds on the clock, please. B, mitosis, final answer. All right, listening to the majority. Okay, I'm going to sue the audience if they're wrong. Not really. I'm not going to sue them. They're wrong. Correct. And they're right. So I still wouldn't have sued them anyway. <laughs> All right, let's let's get to the point. All right, I better save that last lifeline for past the thirty-two thousand. Okay, you're at two thousand dollars. Great, just nine questions away. You're going for four thousand dollars. Good luck. Here's the question: What American colony, known for its religious tolerance, did Roger Williams found? in 1636. I think, I just think it's Rhode Island, but I could be wrong, so I'm going to use a lifeline. Going with the well, my last yeah. lifeline. Computer, would you please I do not believe I used it, but it's it sad but true. Alright, there it is. You now have 15 seconds to choose. I do not think it's Massachusetts, so I'm going to go with Rhode Island. I have to keep going if I want to win, so you're going or to start my run. Oh, don't tell me it's Massachusetts. That's hey, yes, it's Rhode Island, so I shouldn't have used the lifeline in the first place. Woohoo! Yeah. All right, after this question, we're going to take a pause. That is, if I get it right. Well, you've reached the $4,000 level. Eight more correct answers, and you'll... Well, you'll be paying a lot more taxes. Yeah, we'll be paying a lot more taxes after these eight questions. Dollars. Don't be nervous. Get ready. Here I'm on the eighth question. I'm eight away from a million. It's worth $8,000. Crazy eights. I guess you could call it. Here's the question. Which company holds a self-named bake-off? Betty Crocker, Duncan Hines, Pillsbury, or Keebler? I think it's Betty Crocker. Don't tell me it's Duncan Hines. Hmm, okay. You're going with A? Oh, no, it's Duncan Hines, isn't it? Oh! I'm gonna, I'm gonna slap myself if it's Duncan Hines! Oh, it was Pillsbury! Oh, no! Hey, you found a place at the top of tonight's leaderboard. Not bad for a few minutes' work. Congratulations, yeah, and I'll see you I next time. I got a thousand dollars. That's okay, but that's still forcing me to do a redemption video. Oh well. So I did not get to start my run for Jeopard. Uh, Who wants to be a millionaire? Second edition for the PS1. But I did get a thousand dollars. But I will still have to do a redemption video. In fact, I think I'll do it right away in my next video. So long and have a great day. Thanks for watching. All right, I'll listen to you into the music. And I'll turn it off now.